I live in Georgia, the state, in a rural town not too far from a major city. There's a set of woods that's behind our house, and it divides two neighborhoods, and it's about a mile wide, if that. Strange occurrences have always surrounded these woods. Small things like random trash, tarps, etc. I should mention it's more swampy marsh than woods, so it makes camping in there impossible. One night, I was taking our dog out. He stays in the back half of the house due to him not liking the other dogs. I took him out the side door and walked around the house to the fence. For some reason, when we left the house, he was absolutely terrified. He didn't want to go out. Very unusual for a dog who's quick to snatch someone's soul if prompted. Not thinking about it, we pushed onward. After he did his business, we walked back. This is when I noticed it, or rather heard it, crunching of leaves. At first, I thought it was one of our dozen cats on the property, until I realized it was matching my steps. If I walked, you could hear it. If I stopped, it stopped. There's a small clearing between the woods where one of the sheds is. That's when we saw it. My dog was first to see something, and then I saw some, I don't know, creature. It was taller than the shed, so maybe a good eight feet tall, and darted across the clearing at a crazy fast speed. My dog, who again isn't scared of anything, bolted so fast I dropped his leash, and he ran to the door whining. I was quickly behind him. Once we were inside, I quickly bolted the door and ran to my girlfriend to tell her what happened. She immediately wanted to investigate, saying it's probably a woodland creature. Armed with two flashlights, we went out to the front door. As we walked towards the wood line, we could hear something moving around. It sounded maybe 200 yards away. As we scanned with our flashlights, we saw nothing, but kept hearing it. Then we heard it get closer and closer, until it was maybe 20 feet away. Still nothing. No eyes, not even an animal call. Just rustling. My girlfriend, now scared, heads for the house. I decided to check with my neighbor to see if maybe one of their dogs got out. When I arrived at his house, my neighbor, who we'll call Dave, explained that all his dogs were accounted for. Curious, he came to investigate. This is when I noticed that whatever this thing was followed me along the wood line to Dave's house. It was now behind Dave's house. Gun in hand, we went into his backyard, scanning for something. We could hear it rustling, or maybe running, about a hundred yards away in the thick, swampy woods. Way too thick for a person to walk in, let alone run in. Then it stopped. It was dead silent. Scanning, and on edge, we hear and see something, and then bam. All of a sudden, it was five feet in front of us, sprinting at me. It slammed the fence so hard, it rocked it back and forth. Dave, scared shitless, shot randomly at, well, nothing. We never saw it. Again, as I mentioned, the woods are thick. Too thick to run in, so what the fuck teleported silently in front of us and slammed the gate. Spooked, we were about to run. Then we heard it. It was human in nature, but not English. It sounded alien-like. Not a known language. Dave, a hunter for the last 40 years, still to this day cannot explain what that was. Anyway, after you heard that, we bolted. He covered me and I ran to my house. Not 10 minutes later, we both hear a loud explosion coming from the woods. It shook our houses and flickered our power. I ran outside to see what it was, and of course nothing. When Dave came out and confirmed, he felt the same thing. We were both once again terrified. Moments later, a few strangers from the neighborhood came driving down to our cul-de-sac, and all agreed the blast sound they heard came from behind our house. 911 was called, and the two police officers interviewed us separately. Our stories matched. The responding officers refused to go anywhere near those woods. They took the report and left. To this day, we're still not sure what the encounter was. Also, Dave doesn't go outside at night anymore. It spooked him that bad. The next night, earlier in the day, my mother-in-law, a police officer for a town 40 minutes away, installed two motion-activated trail cams along the wood's edge. They were brand new. Keep that detail in mind. Thinking maybe we'd see something, we waited for nightfall. Later that evening, I went outside to feed our outdoor cats. That's when I heard it again, rustling. This time not taking any chances, I ran inside and told everyone what I heard. They all piled by the back door and urged me to go out there and take a look. Reluctantly, I agreed. I took my flashlight and walked to the edge of the woods. Knowing there was a trail cam covering the area, I figured if it got me, and it would be on camera, and my sacrifice wouldn't be for nothing. As I got to the wood's edge, I could hear it still rustling. I'm shaking at this point, as I could tell it was maybe less than 15 yards in front of me. Everyone at the door was watching me, and could hear this thing. Then it got quiet. For a moment, it was gone, or 
so I thought, just as I'm scanning with my flashlight, trying desperately to see a normal woodland creature, so I can laugh this whole thing away, boom. Something fell out of a tree and hit the ground so hard, it shook the soil beneath my feet. It was so close that I was sure it was going to lunge out of the bush and snag me. I dropped my flashlight and ran a hundred yards back to the house, in what felt like two seconds. I screamed, get the fuck in the house, as everyone was already scampering in. They heard and felt the thud too. Our neighbor Dave called my mother-in-law to ask what that loud crash was. For him to have heard it, well over 700 yards away, is insane to me. Once the adrenaline died down, we realized that this happened right next to the trail cam. Problem solved, we got the evidence of this thing. The next morning we checked the SC cards on the trail cams. They have videos up until 11.47pm. The rest is corrupted. They were both brand new trail cams and SD cards. We reset everything and set them back up. And to this day we've still never encountered this creature again, nor caught anything on camera. I want to start by saying to everyone that what I'm about to talk about is true and if you don't believe me, I'm sorry. I live in the woods in Northwest Ohio. My house is back about a half mile into the woods down a long driveway. And my property is surrounded by trees from each side except for the back, which has a field that alternates soybeans and corn every year. We're a few minutes away from a very small village and about a half hour from bigger towns. I just wanted to give some background into the area before I say what happened in case that helps at all. I've had weird stuff happen before. I've encountered what I think are not deers. Once there was one in my yard walking around apple trees, which isn't uncommon, but the thing was huge and ugly, and it just looked wrong. There was also one next to a country road I was driving down with my friend once, a few years ago. I was dog sitting before I had a dog, and I was out with the dog. Walking near the field and turned around as there was a huge splash in our pond and started growling and howling. Other than that, the dog was really friendly. I've never heard him growl before. I joked saying it was a frogman, like the Loveland frogman but ignored it for the most part. Last year, my family got a dog of our own, and he's a hound dog, so he chases and barks at everything. But sometimes he gets weird about the pond too, and he'll growl and howl at it. He doesn't really growl other than that. But the incident I came here to talk about happened a few days ago. This year is a corn year, and our field behind our house, which I always hate because I can't see out past the first couple rows, and I've always thought it's creepy. Before crops are planted, I like to rock hound and metal detect in the field and surrounding fields so I know that land very well. I found Native American artifacts in the field before too, and there's a couple woods scattered through my fields and a big creek runs through it too. I mainly stick to the field directly behind my house because I don't want to wander out too far. The farthest out I've gone is probably no more than a mile. A couple days ago I was out with my dog, walking along the line of dirt between the trees in the back of my property in the field. When my dog started growling at the corn, it obviously scared the hell out of me, and I was yelling at him to stop. When I was little, we would get coyotes around here too, so I figured it was a coyote. Since I didn't want myself or my dog to get hurt by the coyote, I started walking back to the house, but my dog wasn't having it. He was pulling on the leash and baying and howling, and losing his mind. He doesn't usually bay and howl like that unless he's treated squirrel, so the fact that he was just screaming into the corn freaked me out. We started walking again, then I heard a cat meow from the corn. I was like, oh, okay, it's just a cat, cool. But I have a cat, and there's plenty of barn cats that cross the property, and my dog has never lost his mind over a cat like that before. So I keep tugging on his leash, and I'm like, dude, let's go, you're freaking me out. And the cat keeps meowing, and getting like uncomfortably loud for a cat meow. It sounded like it was a lot closer than it was. And then the cat started growling, like it sounded like a big dog, like big growls. Then the corn started rustling, bigger than what a cat could do. Luckily at this point, I was just back in my yard, and growling kind of developed in what sounded like a yell or scream from a person. I was dragging my dog. My dog was growling, his hair on the back was sticking up. I was scared and shaking. It was absolutely terrifying. I went back into my house and told my family what had happened, and they were just like, okay, cool, whatever. But I was nearly in tears. It was scary, again. I don't know if this is the right place to leave this story, so I'm sorry if it isn't. Those sounds have been replaying in my mind over and over, and I'd love to get some explanation or something on whatever happened out there. Nothing like that has happened since, not that I wanted to, but if anyone has any explanation or advice, please let me know. So two of my friends who are a married couple and I were walking on my family land. It's about 170 acres and heavily wooded with both pines and hardwood, and heavily trailed. 
It was dark, but my friends wanted me to take them out walking on the trails. A couple of neighbors' dogs followed us, a coon hound and a great Pyrenees. We walked south, then east, to my camping area. We were hanging out at my camping spot, when behind us, further back the trail we had come down, the dogs started acting strange. We were looking back, and they came out of the woods to our left and stood on the trail. The Great Pyrenees started growling real low and looking defensive. The coon hound is a goofball, but he was also acting disturbed about something. They were both looking back down the trail to the west. I immediately got a quite strange and serious feeling. It was a bit ominous. I've learned to trust my gut, which I recommend to anybody in the woods or if around a person or animal that you feel instinctively is threatening. Anyway, I said to my friends, we better get back to the house. To get my point across, I sort of grimly added, now. Well, we were heading west on the trail, and the dogs, if I can remember correctly, had vacated the area. While walking, I looked back and saw my one friend, the wife, looking into the woods off the trail, and staggered back a few steps. I and her husband asked her what was wrong. By the way, this is the area where the dogs had previously been growling at. She said, I'll let you know when we get back. So when we get back and asked her what she saw, she tells us that she felt she needed to look off the trail into the trees and she saw something halfway up a tree, looking at her. We all have headlamps on. She said it was pale and whitish, with an oval kind of shaped head, looking like it was crouching, with long limbs. She kept stressing how skinny it was, particularly in the limbs. She said it had a surprised look on its face, like it didn't expect us to be there. Myself and friends and relatives used the trail regularly, but not at night. She said that the thing was bobbing back and forth in a kind of creepy way like it was moving its head behind the tree and then swinging its head and shoulders back just to look at her. She said it didn't appear to be aggressive at the moment, but looked scary. I pulled up the famous trail pic of the rake, or whatever it is, and she got a shocked look on her face and nodded, yeah. However, she made it clear that it wasn't exactly the same. Now sometime after, I was on my back porch and heard a freaky but very shrill scream come from the woods. I don't know if the two were related, but I lived in the country for most of my life and I've never heard anything like it. This is one of the multiple things that have happened around here, but this is the only one that I know of involving this creature. This is in North Alabama. Thanks for listening.